Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling. Darling, you send me, darling, you. Hello, guys, and welcome to the vlog. It's about 8.30 a.m. I'm currently sitting in the parking lot at D1 Waco and about to go into one of my workout classes. I've been doing boot camps here off and on for the past couple years, and they're some of my favorite workouts. I just feel like I always get a really good sweat in. Also, I'm currently in a rental car because my car got hit last week while I was at a coffee shop. No serious damage, nobody was hurt or anything like that, so that is good news. But I currently am driving a little Chevy Malibu, and it's actually been pretty fun. It's a little bit different from driving my SUV, because I usually drive a GMC train. So it's been kind of fun whipping in and out of places, but I am going to be excited to get my car back in a few days. But until then, I will be driving the little Malibu. Anyways, I am about to head inside to do my workout, and I will see y'all when I get done. Okay, workout is done. I burned 430 calories, which I always try to aim to reach my 500 calorie burn because I just feel like it's a solid number, but it's okay. Didn't get there today. I was going to go get breakfast afterwards, but someone gave me a free protein shake on the way out. I've actually never tried the muscle milk protein shakes, and this one is chocolate flavored so i think instead of going to pick up breakfast i'm just going to drink this and then i might eat a banana when i get home and i actually have plans to take myself to get a pizza for lunch so i feel like if i eat a healthy breakfast then i can balance out my pizza for lunch also during our workout whenever i took a water break i checked the furbo app which is how i watch charlie from the little camera whenever we're not home and she was barking, so I'm gonna check on her real quick. Guys, I am obsessed with checking the Furbo app. I seriously check it like every five minutes, but I'm gonna put a little screen recording on the screen so y'all can watch it with me of what she is doing right now. Charlie! Oh, Charlie! Oh, Charlie, did you get a treat? I love you. I'm coming home to see you. I'm about to take a shower, but before I change out of my workout clothes, I wanted to show y'all my absolute favorite shorts I've ever owned. They are from Athleta, and I talked about these on my stories, and I actually linked them, but I just have to talk about them on my vlog because they're really that good. For the past few years, I have worn Lulu shorts and pretty much only Lulu, and then I decided to try these out because I had a gift card to Athleta. And wow, I am so obsessed. First of all, they're high-waisted and they have like the longer fit. So when you're working out, you don't have to worry about your butt cheeks showing, which is my favorite thing about them. But then they kind of have like this little like V right here. So it gives them the illusion of not being like completely like long shorts, but I just love them. They have a little strip of mesh right at the bottom makes them just very cute and trendy and yeah they come in several different colors so i'm gonna link them in the description and y'all should go buy them because i promise you won't regret it best athletic shorts ever okay time to take a shower <laughs> Okay, I am out of the shower. I'm gonna do a couple of like skin and hair care and just other things that I like to do in the mornings. And I thought this would be a good time to talk about 
romanticizing your life because this is something that I think kind of like started initially on TikTok, like a little phrase movement, if you will. And it's something I actually love so much. I feel like romanticizing your life really is just taking time to appreciate your life and making the little moments throughout your day special and romantic to you because i'm a firm believer in creating a life that you love and i don't think that you have to wait till you've reached a certain milestone but anyways i'm getting a little off topic here but basically some of the things that i've been doing to romanticize my life are just really being intentional with my mornings and i do that by waking up early drinking coffee doing my bible study i do my morning cleanups i make my bed and then i work out usually sometimes i work out in the evening it just depends but really just taking care of myself and then taking extra care of like my beauty routines has just made me overall happier and i have had a lot of fun like switching some of my products over to non-toxic and clean products so i'm just like really putting an emphasis on what i'm putting on my body what i'm putting in my body and just like being active and taking care of myself so i can be like my healthiest and happiest version anyways getting a little sappy here but i'm gonna show you all some of the products that i use and how i make my mornings romantic and first let's start off with my ootd this is my barefoot dreams robe and y'all can make fun of me if you want but i will not stop raving about this robe because it is literally the comfiest thing i've ever put on my body let me just stand up on my toilet so i can show it to y'all like guys come on this just looks comfy and it feels even more comfy than it looks it is kind of an investment but i did just discover that they have a dupe of this robe at target in the stars above line if you don't want to spend 130 dollars go check target i'll link both of them in the description for you to check out and then let's start with some skin stuff the first thing i did when i woke up this morning is wash my face and moisturize before i went to work out just to get any like dirt out of my pores that got there while I was asleep. But I've been using the Beauty Counter Counter Control Facial Cleanser and Moisturizer. Love them both. They are completely certified on the EWG app, which is what I use to make sure all of my products are clean and the ingredients are actually good for you. Use my super bottle of Curology. I've been a Curology stan for years now. I'll probably always use them to maintain and control my acne because I am acne prone. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on. And to be honest, I don't know how clean the ingredients in my Curology bottle are. I should probably look into that, but it does completely help me with my acne. I'm so not ready to part ways with this yet. I am gonna moisturize again with this moisturizer. And I'm actually gonna put a couple of these tanning drops from Isle of Paradise in my moisturizer. Y'all seen me use Tanologist before and I recently received a PR package from Isle of Paradise and they're a lot more expensive so that's why I've never bought them. But I have been using them lately and I love them so much. They give my face such a natural tan, natural glow and I really like it. So I just rub this in all over my face like on my neck and get it up in the hairline and today i'm actually going to use this lip scrub from rosher living because my lips have been a little crusty lately and that is no bueno and then i'm going to finish my lips up with the beauty counter lip conditioner in calendula they also have it in peppermint if you're more of a minty gal but this stuff is amazing it's a clean dupe for the laneige lip mask and i love it so much i put it on in the mornings and at night sometimes in the middle of the day but i've always just had really dry lips and this stuff keeps them very smooth and hydrated and then the last thing that i'm gonna put on my skin before i do makeup is sunscreen and this is something i really want to talk about because i've actually been really terrible for the majority of my life about remembering to put on sunscreen i'm naturally olive tone right now i'm kind of pale but i tan super easily as soon as spring and summer roll around but as i've gotten older my skin is just you know more sensitive more prone to age i'm 25 i've heard it's all downhill from here with the skin so i've kind of become a freak about putting my sunscreen on i put it on every single day it is kind of like winter slash spring right now so it's still like a little colder outside but I've still been putting it on even whenever I'm putting makeup on or even if I'm staying inside all day 
So this is a reminder to wear your sunscreen. I bought this one at Target and it was the cleanest one I could find at Target. I think next I'm gonna try and find an even cleaner one. So I'll probably have to order it and I wanna try and get like SPF 40 or 50 because I'm not trying to get skin cancer. And the other thing that I've started implementing into my everyday routine in like my middle 20s is I take prenatal vitamins every single day. I also got these at Target and they seemed like the cleanest ones I could find. The brand is Mommy's Bliss and even if you're like not trying to get pregnant, I've heard that it's really good for you to start taking prenatals in your 20s because it just helps with your hormones. Also, it's really great for like nail and hair growth. I feel like my nails grow like weeds whenever I'm taking these. I think these vitamins also just provide a lot of other benefits. You can find these at Target if you want to try them out too. I just like that they didn't have any like added sugars or um, food coloring kind of stuff. So yeah, sunscreen and prenatal vitamins are two things that I've added into my routine now that I'm in my mid-20s. Isn't getting old so much fun? And next, I'm going to put my Invisalign in. I usually only take them out to brush my teeth and eat, but I didn't work out in them today. I'm not sure why, so I'm going to put these bad boys back in. Also, update, I just hit my three and a half months of Invisalign, so I think I have less than five months to go. I have a highlight on my Instagram if you want more info about Invisalign, but I have absolutely loved it so far and could not recommend it enough. Okay, now we're gonna go into my office and do my hair. Welcome to my office. I love to sit in front of this Ikea mirror on my little rug and do my hair. So today I'm going to be blow drying it with my Revlon blow dryer brush. And I'm gonna be putting some of this vegan hair oil from Design Me in my hair. And then, I don't know, I might put some curls in after, so we shall see. <laughs> done blow drying my hair and I don't think I'm gonna put curls in it just to avoid heat today. I love the shade of pink that my hair has faded to right now. My nails actually match it perfectly. One of my good friends Amara is my hairstylist and I posted on my story about how perfectly my nails matched my hair and the nail polish color is called Wild Orchid from the Olive and June collection and then she replied to my story and was like, that's crazy because the exact name of the color we put in your hair is Wild Orchid. They're actually the exact same shade and everything. The camera is blinking red, so I know it's about to die. So I'm going to take a break from filming while I charge it. And then I will catch up with y'all in a little bit. Bye. Okay, I'm back and I finished getting ready for the day. You can see I have my work set up. Back here, I've been on my computer answering emails, editing some stuff, planning for a TikTok reel that I'm gonna make later. And me and my assistant are going to be doing some DIY clay rings. That's been a really big trend this year. We're gonna do that later this afternoon, but I think I'm gonna go get pizza for lunch, like I said earlier. And I'm gonna show you all my outfit of the day real quick. But I did just put my new favorite lip gloss on. I love that it has enough color to where I don't have to put a layer of lipstick under it. It also just has like a nice little glossy shine. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss. And this is the shade Petal. So just a really nice pinky mauve color. And I feel like it goes with my hair nicely. Anyways, I'm gonna show y'all my OOTD real quick. Okay, so I've got this little matching set from Amazon on, and y'all know that I love my matching sets. These are the kind of outfits I like to wear at home during the week because it makes me feel like I kind of have a uniform for work. Mainly just work at home days. Obviously, when it's a photo shoot day, I'm gonna plan, you know, my outfits and everything. But this is just a comfy little set from Amazon. I'll also link it in the description if you're interested. They have them in like 30 colors. I have them in a few other colors as well. And then I have my like chunky white dad shoes that Zach absolutely hates, but I love them because they're so comfy and I feel like they just go with everything. And then for accessories, I have my earrings from Spice and Waco and they're just these little like dangly cross earrings. I've got my Howdy necklace from Packed Party, very Texan of me. And then for my hands, I have my wedding ring, of course, and this ring on my pointer finger is my birthstone. My Grammy gave that 
to me for my birthday and I have my gold jewelry on my right hand and this ring is from Pura Vida and then the smiley face ring is from ALV Jewels on Instagram. I'm sorry if you can hear the dryer in the background. I just put a load of clothes in and it's right outside my office so it's kind of loud but I think that me and Charlie are about to leave. I'm gonna go pick up lunch and then I'm gonna drop Charlie off to play with Zach's parents' dogs because I like to do that a few times a week so she can get some exercise and just play with some of her friends. You wanna go bye bye? <gasps> you want to? You wanna go bye bye? <laughs> okay, we'll go. We'll go, Sissy. Okay, real quick before I leave, I need to do something about my legs because they are ashy as heck right now. My skin is so dry. So I'm gonna put some of this body butter on and my friend Sydney actually sent this to me for my birthday. It's from the brand called Two Gals and a Goat and it's all natural, organically made. All the stuff I love in a product and it smells so good. It's pear and cashmere. They actually have an Instagram if you're interested in buying some of their products. I feel like this whole vlog, I'm just like recommending products to y'all, but that has been like one of my favorite things I've been doing over the past couple of months is just like researching products and finding like the best clean ingredient products and I guess it's been like a new hobby of mine. I've just been like going down a rabbit hole. This angle is honestly awful. I keep looking at myself and I'm like, why did I think this was a good idea? I'm gonna stop recommending products now because I don't want that to get annoying. And y'all can check my non-toxic highlight on my Instagram if you want more tips and recommendations. Bless you, ma'am. Bless you. Okay, let's go. I just dropped Charlie off to play at Zach's parents' house, and I just have to say that this is one of the most beautiful days ever. I'm gonna show you all the sky in a second because it is just making me so happy, so I want everyone to see it. This is really just getting me so pumped for spring, like true spring and summer. That is my absolute favorite part of the year and it just makes me feel so good. I definitely feel like I'm someone who gets seasonal depression whenever it's super cold and rainy and gloomy. I feel gloomy and then when it's sunny and pretty, I feel so happy. So I totally relate to anyone who also feels that way because I really do think the weather affects your mood. Just look at how pretty the sky looks right now. So blue and sunny, Ugh, I love it. It is pizza time. I just pulled up to Mod Pizza. I've actually never had this before, but it's where you can build your own pizza. Zach swears that we've been here before, but I don't remember it, so I'm treating this like my first time. And I heard they have cauliflower crust, so that's what I'm gonna be getting. And I'm just so excited right now because I've seriously been looking forward to this all week. Just got home and I secured the goods. I got a side of ranch. I'm gonna eat this real quick before my assistant comes over. Okay, so this is all of the materials that we have for our DIY clay rings. I got all of this clay from Amazon and Hobby Lobby and I just got an assortment of colors. I really don't know what I'm doing, so we're just gonna wing it. I have this little pottery tool and then some glaze and then some glue. I'm gonna post a full tutorial on my TikTok and Instagram reels and then I'll link all of this stuff below. Okay. This is your debut on the vlog. Okay, guys, I'm here with my assistant, Tegan. <laughs> She's, this is her first time on the vlog, her introduction. I'm drinking a Celsius, and we just finished our first round of clay rings. I don't really know how these are gonna turn out. All I the bad ones are mine. <laughs> <laughs> the smiley face one is my, I think that's the one I'm looking the most forward to, like to see if it looks good. This one's gender reveal. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Okay, we're gonna do some more and we will update y'all in a little it's bit. It's been a couple hours since I last filmed and Tegan just left. We were finishing up some work stuff for the week and we finished our rings. It actually took me a good bit to do these. I took my time on the second batch of them to try and make them really cute and trendy and I love the way that they turned out. I just put the gloss coat on these so they're still drying but I am gonna show y'all a close up of them so you can see what they look like. And if I already have the reel and TikTok edited, I will insert that right here so y'all can make see some it. clay rings. I started by ordering the Sculpey 3 clay from Amazon and then I rolled it out so it would be smooth and cut it so the lines would be straight and then I measured by wrapping it around a ring that I already had. Then I just cut some small pieces of clay to make these little designs and I pressed them down with a spoon so I wouldn't leave my fingerprint in the clay. 
Then I just had fun mixing colors and creating these unique designs. Then I baked for 15 minutes at 275 in my oven and finished by putting this gloss on them. I love how they turned out. Save this post so you can try it yourself. So these rings are from our first batch, kind of like our test run, and this one was my favorite. It's like a little squiggle ring, but we actually made it too small, so it barely fits on my pinky and only goes like halfway down. So not really practical, but it's still kind of cute and fun. And then this one was my other favorite, and we did like an indention of a smiley face on it. By the way, that is not my crusty finger. It's dried up glue, <laughs> just so you don't think I have dead skin hanging off. Now over here is my masterpiece set of rings and these are still wet they're drying i just put this like little gloss on them and i have to wait a bit for them to dry but look how fun these are guys i'm so proud of them i have a smiley face ring back here lots of polka dotted ones and then i did some like fun color combos another squiggle i made this one really big so i think it'll be able to fit either on my thumb or like on my middle finger and then I did a little squiggle for my pinky. I just really like these. I think that they turned out really fun. I can't wait to take some photos of them and I'll insert them right here so y'all can see what they look like on. Look who's home. My who's home? My personal chef. Are you gonna make me dinner? No. <laughs> Not tonight. Zach has been making us dinner most nights. Actually, did you see my highlight I started on my profile? No. I started a little highlight on my Instagram profile called Chef Zach. I feel like we are officially like getting old because it's Friday night. We have no plans really. I think we're going to his parents' house to eat dinner and we're probably going to crash early because Zach is already falling asleep. For the few people that actually see my Snapchat story, I think I only have like 30 or 40 people on there. They get to see Zach's crazy sleeping habits because he talks in his sleep, he falls asleep watching his phone, so half the time he literally, show him how you fall asleep, demonstrate. No, you gotta hold it up, like, more, yeah. But, like, laying down, so his neck is, like, crunched forward, record him talking in his sleep and, like, doing other weird stuff, too. Yeah, I saw that. You did? Mm -hmm. I sent it to you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out because it has been a long day of filming. Hopefully I can cut this down because I feel like nobody ever watches to the end when my vlogs are super long. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it, but thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Don't forget that I linked most of the stuff I talked about today in the description if you want to shop anything. You wanna close it out? Peace. Peace. Bye. Bye.